Hey everybody, Winged Always Bored, Never Boring. It seems like a very long time ago that we last heard anything about Warhammer The Old World, Games Workshop's ongoing project to revive the world that was, while also reviving the sales of Square bases. But on the 21st of July, they shared some updates and answered some burning questions. By which I mean hotly debated questions, not questions with answers that caused people to set fire to their miniatures collections. The update itself is a little light on information, as you might expect as the game is still some way off, but they have revealed more details of the map. They previously showed off areas of Britonia, and now they have added the region of Kislev. These map details make it clear that the game's setting covers a period of time that precedes that of the setting previously explored in Warhammer Fantasy Battle, and the update confirms that the game takes place several hundred years before the end times. Using this period of time means we are going to see a very different sort of world, and Kislev itself is shown to be a huge area, while the Empire is fractured with many factions involved in a civil war without a single ruler to unite them all. It will be interesting to see how the use of this period of time impacts on the various factions, and also how it shapes the greater narrative. Games Workshop have intimated the setting places us on the brink of the Great War Against Chaos, which was a generally bad time for Kislev and the Empire, and that means the Colleges of Magic won't even be a thing in this game, at least not straight away. Moving on, before we get to the confirmed information, there were a few other teasers in the update for what kind of races and miniatures we might get to see. When talking about the borders of Kislev, there was mention of places haunted by centaurs, hobgoblins and half-orcs. And of course, Kislev are always having to deal with invading Norskan tribes. Right, let's get to those burning questions. First up, the game will definitely use square bases. I think most of us knew that. And concerns about a change to a different scale are unfounded. The scale will remain the same as always, for what that's worth considering Games Workshop's ongoing scale creep. With the intention being, you can use all of your old models. Hope you didn't get around to rebasing them all on round bases for Age of Sigmar, folks. In terms of the rules, we are looking at a rank and file game. The rules set will be new, but informed by every previous edition of Warhammer Fantasy Battle from 3rd to 8th. You should be able to enjoy your beautifully arranged units sweeping away the enemy while playing a thoroughly modern and updated rule set. It wouldn't be a surprise to see Games Workshop at least considering a Song of Ice and Fire's more streamlined approach to this kind of regimented wargaming. As we've already mentioned, the setting places us several hundred years before the end times, and factions will be recognisable as coming from that period, so I wouldn't have to keep struggling to pronounce Oruk with a Wiltshire accent. And then there's the big question of a release date. When's it coming out? The answer is a big old shrug. Games Workshop are saying it's going to be quite some time yet, and while that doesn't always mean a lot for them, as their production schedules are so tight and fast moving, in this case, I think we can accept on face value that we won't be playing this game until at least next year. I'm calling it now. It's going to be 23rd of June 2022, because that's the date hinted at on the calendar in the subheader of the update article. And yes, I know that's a Thursday. But... I think that's all I've got to say about this, so it's over to you in the comments. Let me know what you think about all of this, because that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.